when I was in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get this adjusted, so. Alright, I'm gonna send it and I'm looking. Mm, listen to that one. Oh, yeah. Run that first room? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go for the uh, half torso target, right go side. Go for it. A little bit over the top. Yeah. Dang on. Cool. Easy as that. Yeah. So did you have to, did you hold down or did you pull it the first time? I uh, I was aiming at the head the first time and I just went back center mass. Yeah, go center mass. So. Okay, so take your, so let's just walk you out. So plug in 460 into the next one. Yeah. So it's top number there, yeah. 2.6. And then adjust your hold. So one of the things you can do is you can watch the mirage, right? Yeah. You can see it. And you can use that to gauge the, where the wind's going. So if you see it kind of just boiling straight up or bo moving to the right or whatever, then you can use that to say, hey, I should probably hold a little bit for this shot or hold it a little bit to the other side for the, this shot, etc." Gotcha. All right, I'm going to go for that uh, half-size torso target, 460. Yep, go for it. There you go. Beautiful. A little bit high by 0.1, but whatever. I saw that, yeah. And a little bit to the left, but that's fine. Try uh, next target, 560. So qualifiers are usually out to about like 800 yards. Okay. So you're pretty much already fine, <laughs> frankly. All right. I'm going to go for the uh, hanging torso target. Sure, go for it. So you've got a bit of wind now coming in. Yeah, that's to the right. It was by a hair. So adjust, hold, do a hold for like two, two mils, or no, sorry, point two mils. Yeah. You don't need to hold a lot. You just need to hold a little bit. You hit right on the edge. Over the shoulder. So one of the tricks here, right, is don't forget your rifle's probably shooting like what, at one MOA? Yeah. So when you adjust, you're gonna have to, you have 0.3 mils of just dispersion normally. Yeah. Plus vertical dispersion from ammo differences and whatnot. And your gun is gonna be speeding up too. There you go, that was nice center. Cool. Uh, try for the, what's up next, is that? Stable but it's also going to recoil right back into me. So when it goes, okay. it goes straight back. Yeah. And then so also when you're looking for stuff, you want to be in like the 10X range. Yeah. Around here, you can put your scope hand up here and it gets you a really nice stable position. And when this recoils, it's going to come whoop, right back into me. Okay. Also, if you might want to get like something to cover up these pick rails on these bags. It might like rip them apart pretty okay. fast. That makes so sense. Here. I'll, uh, yeah. Don't do like front foot forward or anything because you're not, you're pushing into something. You're not trying to anticipate I'm just, the recoil. I'm, I don't know. I just, I always do the three point stance. Yeah, I know. It's, it, but it doesn't no, work for uh, basketball, all that. Yeah. It's sports ball, I'll do it. Sports all right. ball. All right. So try a little bit more vertical and more leaned over instead of bending your knees. Like that? Yeah, look more like that. Except you generally want to like have less angle in your legs. So more straightforward, more hip bendy. Yeah, okay. like that. Yeah. Uh, put your second hand instead of having it on the mag. Have it there. Yeah. And that'll get you a nice stable, See, was, stable position. Well, I was aiming again. Okay. And you don't have a knot. If you had a knot, a reciprocating target handle, you couldn't do this. Well, you know, take a look at it because I'm pretty sure I smacked the hell out of my thumb, and I'd be really pissed off. All right, if, I'll uh, watch it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put it here yeah. for, for now. Yeah. And just let me know. If that reciprocates, because I'm fairly certain I got my thumb smacked the shit out of it by that recharging handle. Alright, here we go. Don't forget you were set up at zero at uh, 600, I think? Yeah. That's where I'm aiming, so. Or we can move it back if you want. We'll just go for it. 
But 600 is a pretty normal range. I didn't see a reciprocation. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, let me get spotting for you. It's mostly just getting stable is the hard part. All right, I'm good. That's an impact. All right. There you go. That's how you play the game. So it does lock open yeah. on empty. And it does reciprocate for that. So I have to be aware of that. Mm. That's my last shot. However you like to position it, a lot of people do this. Yeah. They hold it and pin, and then you go. Got a cloud there, make it a little hard. Yeah. Just high and right? No, it's right. center of mass, but right. Oh, is it? Okay. The wind. You got more magnification than I do, so. Nice. There we go. But so. It should in text. You do want to, so what you're wanting to do is you want to watch where you hit. That's like the primary thing you're going for. So that when you set up the next shot, nice. you know where it's going. Yeah. It's easy, easy as that. This break is really fucking nice, though. I'll tell you that. That wind is something. Yeah, it just kicks up. Cameraman? Huh? There you go. <laughs> I can't. You can see it so you can actuate it while, while we're <laughs> first person shooter. Alright? Just a mouse click. Here we go. <laughs> no, right, I can't, like on three. I can't see One, it. two, I can't see three. It. <laughs> Dangerous moves. This brake is fucking awesome though, I'll yeah. say that. Like this thing used to recoil a fair bit with just the dead air on there. But Where'd that go? I didn't see that one. You were, you were around the target. Yeah. I just can't see where because I, I I'm stuck with the, uh, the 7X. Let's just go to direct to a thousand. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Should get that wind call right. Adjust my diopter. Oh! It was just off the side. That was really <laughs> fucking close. Is a point zero one MOA gun, right? No. It's better. And that was too far adjustment. It's as accurate as me. <laughs> When's a tricky pitch, dude? So it's it's twelve <laughs> MOA, unfortunately. <laughs> Right off of it there. Just right off the fucking edge. Wind calls. It's all the wind calls. Yeah. But there's no wind. There is. <laughs> I'm holding a 1.7 mils to the right. Three mils and then a one MOI plate. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Cool. Okay. So down at the 500, there's a big square, and right next to it is a circle. And so a very common thing you would see is a big then small, right? Okay. So you've got a 3 MOA target and then a 1 MOA target right next to it. Yeah. All right. So okay. get on the sound bank. All right. So 
You got your dial? I'm dialed in. Let's right. see, it's uh, the third one, third berm. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so you want to hear your deck just for practice. You can take the sandbag. Good. So take the sandbag in one hand. Well, so there's a view right here in the middle, right? Yeah. And that'll slip nicely across there. Okay. So try that out. And then I'll just uh, watch. So try Are you allowed to have one in the chamber whenever you before yeah, you do this? Yeah. So immediately before you go in, you put one in the chamber. Maybe safety. I mean, always safe. Yeah. On a semi, you are required to put safety on. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're required to open the bolt. Okay. When you move. Anyway, so just like whenever you feel like it, drop down on there, set up however you want. I'm not going to time you or nothing. Okay. And then. Try the big plate, and then go for the small plate. So watch where it hits on the big plate, and use that to make an adjustment when you go for the small plate. Okay. Okay, so you were about uh, four... It's fucking reciprocating, dude. You got it? It's, it's reciprocating. Got you. <laughs> they lied to me. That's actually pretty shitty. Those bastards lied to me. Yeah? I gotta call him up. Yeah, you do. Send me the wrong scar. So All right. that's rough, that was roughly uh, 0.5 over and 0.3 down. Okay. So try and use that adjustment when you go for the little plate. That was actually really properly close. So go back to the big plate and try again. All right. And use that same hole to see where it lands you. You were centered, but right at the bottom of the target. So if you were aiming center mass, that's like what, three or four down? Yeah. So use that same wind hold and go up a little bit more. There you go, impact. All right. That's fairly representative of a PRS stage. Except on a PRS stage, you do that five times in a row and you move between each one. Cool. You want to try it again? Yeah, might right. as well. Got caught my thumb on it, you can tell. <laughs> oh, you did? Shit. Oh, yeah. That sucks. So try and keep the rifle stable enough where you can. That was just about center. Yeah. So you can use that same hold and try and go for the little guy. <sighs> just about below. Shit. It's tricky, but that's where the fun is. Yeah. These big smalls are pretty fucking annoying. All right, you can feel the wind just picked up, so you'll need to adjust it a little bit. I just pulled that one. Yeah. This whole thing's shaking on me. <laughs> yeah, most of the props you'll shoot around here are stable, like 100%. Another thing people <laughs> just below, but really close. Another thing people do is they do uh, wind boxing. So they'll say, I know the wind is going between like three and seven miles an hour. They'll plug that into their calculator and they'll aim in the center of that range. Yeah. Or they can say, the wind's picked up, so I need to use my high end, or I need to use my low end.